Hello everybody, my name is Mandy and I'm a yoga instructor and today we're at Orange at the studio and this is Heidi. She's going to be, um, what I want to do is I want to show you a seven minute yoga routine that you can practice at home. Uh, my intention, this one that I created is for bedtime. If you're having a hard time sleeping, um, feel free to do this before bed and then go to sleep and see if it, um, if it helps you. So we're gonna start with legs up the wall. So we're gonna get Heidi over here. And so this is called a bolster. If you don't have a bolster, maybe grab a blanket, see if you can get um, just basically the same consistency. You want it nice and even to support your lower back. So I'll show you how we're gonna use it. So we're gonna come against the wall here. Um, I usually go about four inches away and it can get quite awkward to get into this posture. So um, I'll explain to Heidi how to get into it. So I bring my um, outer hip. So I'll have you just sit up here. Yeah, outer hip as close as you can to the wall. And then see if you can swing your legs up and then body comes down onto the earth here. Good, and I'll just get this out of your way, perfect. Nice, and then this is legs up the wall. And so what you wanna do, um, you can, my yoga teacher stays in this for 40 minutes before she goes to bed. Um, staying it for two minutes is quite intense and can be great for you. Um, so stay as long as you can. Today we're gonna be staying for about two minutes um, just to give the legs some time to drain the blood toxins from the feet to drain back down. And this posture is also very calming for the nervous system. Um, but right here I see that um, her lower back, so her lower back has a natural curve, the lumbar, and you want that supported in this posture. So I'm just gonna ask Heidi to press her heels into the wall and lift her hips up or press her feet. Yep, I'm gonna slide it up just a little bit more and then yeah, perfect. So she just gets a little bit more of a tilt. It's a little more natural for her low back and then she can stay here. And so there's a few different ways to have your arms and take this posture. So her feet are about hip distance apart, relaxing her legs. Good, and she can even close your, yeah, you can close your eyes, awesome. And then we need our breath. So we'll take a smooth, deep breath in through your nose and then out through your nose. Good. And that's all you want to do is just allow this posture to help the body calm down and then the mind. And so all you have to do is get into it and then find your breath again and again. And often some people, when you do yoga, I hear a lot of people that say the slow postures or like really, really slow classes um, are hard because often they are because you're with the mind. So when you're noticing the mind start to wander, try your best to come back to your breath. Your breath is an excellent tool to use to help you be here, it's constantly present. So if the mind's wandering, just take another smooth, deep breath. Notice your lower belly fill, mid belly, upper chest. And you're taking that full breath and then exhale. And then you can have your arms down by your sides, tuck your shoulder blades under your back body. That way the heart lifts up a little bit more. And then head is relaxed completely on, onto the earth. And then another way you can take the arms, um, you can hold the elbows above your head or arms out to the sides, just to get a little more into the rib cage, the armpit, chest cavity, the shoulders. Good, and that's all we're doing. So staying for about two minutes, five minutes if you can. Um, if this is quite intense for you, maybe your legs are on a couch, so the knees um, are bent, the calves on the cushion, and then it's just less of an incline because you always want to use your breath as a guide. If it's choppy, if it's too much, you can't relax in this, um, you're a little too far, so modify and adjust for your body. Cool, and then to come out, we'll just walk our feet down the wall and then roll over to your right side. Good, and then we'll come on out, yeah. And then, um, and then so yeah, we'll be there for about two minutes. These next two postures, we're gonna do a couple twists and a heart opener. So these are a great way to just, just a couple postures, very simple, that's gonna help calm the nervous system to help you have such a good sleep. All right, so we're gonna do a twist first. So I'm gonna have you come head facing this way and then come onto the mat, please, Heidi. Yeah. Good, and then come all the way down and then just take your arms out shoulder height, please. Walking your shoulder blades under your back body. Good, and then here, feet on the earth. We're gonna take the hips just two inches over to the left. Yeah, and the knees over to the right. That way the bottom hip stacks, comes over to the right, or comes over to the left a bit, so you just get a little bit deeper of a twist. And then here, if it's okay for the neck, gaze can come over to the left. Good, and then just close the eyes, taking out your dominant sense, and just allow the body to start to settle. So when you hold this posture, again, come back to your breath. So inhale, fill up your low belly, mid belly, nice. 
upper chest and then exhale. So every exhalation you want to relax the body and just layer by layer let the body start to settle. And the body and mind are connected so whatever you do to the body affects the mind and vice versa. And the breath is known as the royal road so it connects the two so just the posture, you be mindful, come back to your breath is going to help really settle the mind. Good, and then one more breath, inhale, fill up, and exhale, good, and then just draw your navel back towards your spine, knees come up to center, taking your hips back aligned with your shoulders, and then two inches over to the right, good, and then knees over to the left, good, and if at all this is too much, neti neti is trial and error, so find what feels best for you so you can maybe bring the knees more forward or back more. Maybe the knees don't come down this far. Again, you want the breath to be nice and smooth and steady so you can allow the body and the system to settle. Good, and let's just do two more full deep breaths here. Inhale, fill up. Good, and exhale, let it go. And then relax your eyebrows, your jaw, shoulders. Good, and the navel draws back, core engaged, knees up to center. So you can do two minutes on the wall, a minute each side, and then we'll come into one heart opener, and we're gonna stay for about three minutes. Good, and just for time's sake, it might not actually be three minutes, but if you can, stay for three, five. So, um, Heidi sit bones around the earth. We take the bolster right to the sacrum, just support that natural curve when she lays back. So this is gonna be more gentle. Um, I'll just have Heidi demonstrate two different variations. So I'll have you come all the way back, arms out by your sides, and then tucking your shoulder blades under your back body. And then you can take your feet a little bit wider than your hips and knees rest against each other. And you can just stay here. So it's a little bit of a heart, heart opener. And you can even close your eyes. Good, you can take your legs straight out. So this is another option. Good, and again, you wanna fill up your low belly, mid belly, upper chest, and let it go. And then you can take Baddha Konasana legs, so butterfly posture. So soles of the feet together, knees out to the sides. And if this is quite intense for the hips, you just take blocks, maybe towels, pillows, whatever you have, to support the hip joints. So you just kind of place it underneath, right on the thigh, and then leg comes down. And then you do one on the other side, and then you can relax a little bit more. Good, so this is one variation. I invite you to stay for three minutes, five minutes if you can. Good, and then I'm gonna have you come on up one more time. Good, and then this is a little bit more of a heart opener, so if you want more, this is it. It's great. Okay, so I do the block about there, and then bring the spine back, come on back. Good, and then the vertebrate's kind of crunchy here in the neck. You want a nice lift, so just taking the bolster or towel to support the head, and then come on back. Good, and how does that feel? Awesome. Yay, okay. And then you can stay here, so just allow the shoulders to roll back, because we're constantly um, forward in our everyday life, so you want to just counterbalance. Get the body balanced as much as you can. Good, and then staying here for about three minutes if you can. Good, and again, low belly, mid belly, upper chest. Smooth, deep breaths in through your nose and out through your nose. Good, and then try that, so seven minutes total, fairly quick, and then hop into bed, and hopefully that helps. Um, if you still have thoughts on your mind, feel free to just jot it down on a journal, or in a journal, or a paper, um, just to rest the mind as well, and then have a great sleep. Thanks for listening.